What is going on, my breakaway family? Welcome back to the channel. I'm extremely thankful that you are here watching this video. And I just wanted to remind you that Breakaway Fitness is about breaking away the chains that are holding you back from being everything that God created you to be. Breaking away the chains of fear, hate, pride, anger, your insecurities, your self-doubt, breaking all those chains and pursuing your best self in the areas of your body, your mind, and your spirit. And it's all with the help of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys three tips for your next cut. These tips are gonna be really, really simple, but if you do follow them, they are going to help you. So let's get into these three tips for your next cut. So tip number one is gonna be do not cut carbs out immediately. So a lot of times I see people make the mistake of, you know, they're saying that they want to get in shape for summer. And, you know, right now we are in that season of, you know, people are trying to get in shape for the summer. It's April. I can't even remember what day it is, April something. But a lot of people are starting to get into this mindset of I want to get a summer body, right? I want to get summer ready. So. A huge mistake that I see is people begin to cut out their carbs almost completely and that is just not going to be sustainable for you. To make such a drastic change like that from one week to the next is really, really going to affect you, especially in the gym when it comes to your performance and your strength. You're definitely going to see a dip in strength if you've been used to consuming carbs and all of a sudden you just take them away. Carbs are the fuel that is gonna get you through your workouts, that's gonna help you push harder, that's gonna help you get those extra sets and reps. That is what carbs do. They give us energy as fuel to get through our workouts. So think of carbs as your, your solid gym partner, right? A gym partner that's gonna be there to push you, to get those extra reps. Think of the carbs as your best gym partner. So carbs are really, really important, not only for muscle growth, but for your performance as well. Now, if you start getting pretty deep into your cut, let's say you've been cutting for about eight weeks or so, and slowly you've been dropping you know, the carbs week to week, little by little, that's perfectly fine. You know, once you get to the point of you're kind of hitting a plateau and you kind of need to drop the carbs just a little more, start planning your carbs around your training sessions. So, you know, one to two hours before your training session, have a meal with carbs. And then about an hour or two post-training, make sure you have another meal with carbs. And if those are the only carbs you wanna consume because you need to get in a bigger deficit or you wanna continue burning the fat, then, you know, plan those carbs around your training sessions. You know, don't eat your carbs in the morning and then right before bed, you know, utilize those carbs for your training sessions. So don't cut all your carbs out. Do not do that. It's only gonna affect the way you perform in the gym. Just make sure you stick to a plan that is sustainable for you. And just from personal experience, I'm currently eating about 290 grams to 350 grams of carbs, and I am still losing weight and dropping body fat. So I'm not saying this because you know you can't do it or it's not possible you can still get lean while consuming a lot of carbs. It's all gonna come down to your tracking. Are you tracking your calories properly? Are you tracking everything that you're consuming? That's what it's all gonna come down to. And tip number two, do not do a crazy amount of cardio. This is another mistake that I see a lot of people doing. They think that they're gonna go into the gym and do hours and hours and hours of cardio and you know, expect to lose all this weight for summer. You know, it's really important to just start off with one session a week. Start with one session for 20 minutes. You know, if, if you're already doing a weight training split, like let's just say five days a week, 
only add one session of cardio in there for about 20 minutes and then from there week to week you kind of you know get in tune with what your progress pictures look like what your deficit is like and if you're making progress with that 20 minute session of cardio also take into consideration the steps that you take per day if you take 10,000 steps per day you might possibly not even have to add any cardio on top of your weight training sessions there's a lot of factors that play into this so just don't start off your first week of of your cut trying to do an hour of cardio every single day again it's not sustainable and your body is going to suffer for it you are going to feel it if you haven't been used to doing cardio every single day and you all of a sudden jump into doing it every day you're going to feel tired you're going to feel fatigued and you're really going to feel the effects on your body depending on you know the macros that you're eating depending on how many calories you burn your lifestyle whether you're very active whether it's an office job all those factors are going to play a role and the amount of cardio you may need to do. So as you progress and you continue progressing, take all of those factors into consideration and utilize that whether you're gonna be adding cardio or taking cardio out. And when it comes to cardio, if you want to retain the most muscle, the best form of cardio for that is LISS, which is light intensity, steady state cardio, like walking, you're riding a bike, something that is not gonna kill you drastically. And the third tip I have for you guys is gonna be slow and steady wins the race. You know, if you start off your cut a million miles an hour, there's a good chance that after a week or two you're probably gonna begin to slow down a lot you want to time everything perfectly so if you're doing a 12 week cut you want to start slow you want to figure out all of the numbers right how many calories you're burning how many calories you're consuming how much cardio you're doing and then taking your progress pictures checking those every single week and making sure that there is progress happening and as you continue going through your cut, you slowly start adding maybe more sets to your workouts, maybe more reps, maybe adding a little bit more cardio, maybe planning carbs around your training sessions to lower the amount of carbs you're consuming. But don't completely take the carbs out. You know, you wanna adjust things week to week, little by little, and you're gonna need to document everything every single thing you're doing you're gonna want to document and keep track of if you're not documenting and keeping track of all of those factors then you're not gonna have any data to to base your adjustments off of and this is another really important thing for the clients that I coach as well I need as much data as possible and another thing you don't want to be in a thousand calorie or even a 1500 calorie deficit every day you are gonna feel the effects of that really really quick instead start with like a 200 calorie deficit and and go from there you know and then maybe the next week try a 300 calorie deficit and then maybe try that for another week as well stay on that 300 calorie deficit because if you're continuing to make progress there's really not a need to make huge changes to what you got going for you and I personally wouldn't recommend going anything higher than 500 calorie deficit every single day take it slow and steady slow and steady wins the race you're not gonna tire out really Really quick you're not gonna fatigue really quick you know you're not gonna lose focus if you start off slow and slowly work your way up you're gonna be able to build that momentum towards the end of your cut the most important thing to take from all of this is that whatever it is that you do whether you're bulking whether you're cutting whatever your goals are it's gonna take work it's gonna take time it's gonna take discipline it's gonna take consistency if you do all of those things and track everything that you're doing and logging it and paying attention to every single detail if you're doing those things then you're gonna have plenty of stuff to work with you'll have plenty of factors to adjust and figure out where where am I not making gains where where can I do better right can I do a little more cardio can I walk a little more? Can I be a little more active throughout the day? Those are all things that you're gonna be able to take into consideration. Anything you do is gonna take work. Like I tell all my clients, if you wanna make a change, it's gonna come from you. It's not gonna come from anybody else. It's gonna come from you. If you want it, 
you will work for it and you will work towards it whatever it takes make sure you're giving this life everything you got because we only got one life to live and if you're not giving everything you got and if you're not trying to be the best person that you can be then what's the point of life the point of life is to love others to motivate others to become better people to become better humans not only for themselves but for the people around them so that we can change people's lives that's what really matters in life what really matters in life is how many people you did the best you could to help them out when they're going through a struggle when they're going through problems helping them out all right you guys i hope you like this video i hope you found value in it please give this video a like please subscribe to the channel check out my website at breakawayfitness.com i do month-to-month -month coaching everything that's included in the coaching is in the description below so please check that out send me an email if you have any comments or questions or if you know you want to take the journey towards your best self i can help you get there i can give you the tools you need i can give you the knowledge you need in order to get there and always remember that whatever you do do it all for the glory of god i love y'all i appreciate y'all god bless peace